Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. I'm Trish. Uh, today I'm we'll be doing your mini reading. So you can choose from one of three groups, which will be the purple, the aqua, or the pink. So that will be amethyst, Caribbean calcite, or rose quartz. Or you can go from the decks if you prefer to choose from the decks with this deck, this deck, or this deck. So take a moment, see which one resonates for you for today, and I will be back with your reading. Welcome back group one, thank you for joining me. If you've selected the amethyst or the purple or this deck, then this reading is for you. Okay, this is a group reading, so it's gonna resonate differently for everybody and it is just an express reading. There is a fair bit going on around you though, so I would suggest popping back in on the Monday reads and see if you can get something from more of the full the fuller read as well um, but I am getting here okay so what we've got going on around you by the general reads of these cards are that there's some kind of turmoil going on close to home so yourself perhaps you're needing some kind of healing or there's some healing needed in a certain situation there is something new coming up it's like there's a, either a new contract or a new path or a new commitment coming up for you and we've got here the um, till death do us part card which is the long-term commitment card now you're, you're reading from my this is my personal deck um, so it's 15 years of my experiences in these decks it's not about um, this one's not for sale not available for purchase um, but it's all about yeah different different things I've been through in my life and my family have been through okay saying here that it's a lot um, you've got a lot on your mind so there's a lot going on on your mind and, and it can be it feels a little overwhelming it feels like yeah there's a lot to deal with here you've got some really big decisions coming up around you or some big things that you're dealing with so what I'm pulling in here with the energy it's um, it's very um, okay almost feel like um, sleeping I feel like it could possibly be draining you a little and making you feel a little tired okay so I'm getting yeah there's a bit of a, it's turmoil I hope you're not the one causing the turmoil and um, if, it, if you're causing turmoil because of something going on in your life you have my sympathies I have to tell you that but I do feel like and that's not for everybody but I do feel like there's some kind of turmoil going on around you um, and I'm getting like the the tower card here the turn the um cyclone card which is my cyclone card it's, and it's the tower card in tarot but here it is turmoil this one's called turmoil close to home now turmoil close to home means um I used to call it enemy at the gate, so and that's the, your home. So it's like um, turmoil going on in your home around your very close network around you, saying you're needing healing from that. So it's either it could be for some of you that somebody is requiring healing, somebody's requiring extra care, or and that that's what's causing the turmoil. Turmoil is not always um, really negative. Turmoil can sometimes be compassion so where you're needing and that and all that means is that it's it's disrupted your life or your routine because now you have to help out in other ways so somebody around you is required and this is not for everybody but somebody around you is requiring extra attention healing or care some kind of care going on around around you and therefore that's disrupting your normal your normal patterning your normal routine is, is what's going on here so I'm feeling like yeah that it's a new that's a there's a new path coming up for you now I'm just trying to pull in to see if that's for the same people that I was just bringing out through so I did go through um, at the very beginning was I went through the I, I outlaid the overall um, general reading of, a, of this spread sorry I'm going in deep here I'm, I'm hearing so as um, oh yeah I did read out what the general spread is now I'm pulling in little bits for different people so for some of you uh, I'm picking up here you've got a new path you're leaving a path behind this is the card of till death do us part it's also about it can be about jail it can be about commitments long-term commitments it can be about um marriage as well so marriage but here I'm seeing a new path that you're walking so this is the um, the fill card and I feel like there's some kind of new path going on around you in one of these areas so it's either a, a, a new commitment coming up for you a marriage coming up for you or a new situation within your marriage could be coming up for you as well here but I do feel like there's some kind of turmoil and, can't, and some kind of healing required and, and I know and I can see here that it's 
quite chaotic. Okay, because this is a mini spread and I've gone through already the outlay, I'm just going to run through it one more time, what the general energy here is instead of pulling through all different readings for everybody because it is a, it is a mini reading. Okay, so what I am getting in this spread that you've chosen group one is that there's turmoil going on around you very close to you within your home within your family could be perhaps you is requiring the healing it could be somebody very close to you is requiring healing but there's an, a level of healing or care that's needed for you or somebody around you i feel like there's a new path coming for you or something that you're going through this this whatever this turmoil is that's requiring healing it's new it's something that you don't have a great deal of experience in it's like a new a new direction for you now here i feel like it's a um a commitment a commitment you've made so it may not be a verbal commitment you've made it may just be a commitment that we make um, as humans to care for those around us so that's what that's kind of the sense I'm picking up there it's a commitment that you have so it's a, a new commitment that you have to care for somebody else around you um, or people it's about commitment so it could be the commitment made to you and people needing um, needing help Okay, I don't, I, I'm, I'm also picking up for some of you, it could be that you're considering putting like a parent into um, like a home or something like that because it's like the commitment card when you're committing, uh, you're not committing them to an asylum or anything like that. Perhaps some of you could be going through those drama. I'm not seeing mental health here in this. I'm seeing more like um, age care or um, health care is what I'm seeing. It's more so than, than, um, than the mental battles here it's more age care or health care than I'm seeing that's that's needed or required so as I perhaps there's a level of um professional this could also be the hospital as well um hospice hospital age care health care so I'm feeling like yeah there, somebody could be going into hospital or going into age care it's like yeah there's some level going on there that's not for everybody um I did run through what the general spread was but that's for some that that is going on for some people but it's quite uh, uh, it's quite a lot to take in it's a lot of lot of new information and it's a lot to take in so that was pretty big for a full-on energy, I mean, for a first read on a mini. So that's group one. Yeah, lots going on around you. Um, hope that you can get your head around it all. Um, but like I said, pop back into the Monday full reads because there's lots of, yeah, you'll get a lot more answers there, I think. And this is just a general read. But hopefully something here has helped you. Uh, it's not really giving me too much advice. It's just kind of telling me how what's going on around you and how it feels. It's the feeling that I'm getting. It's not really giving me... Um, a direction it's like you probably already know the direction that's why I feel like yeah, the direction is what it is whatever's coming up is something you just have to deal with it's like it's not like you've got a choice in the matter and that's and that's kind of what I'm feeling that's why they're not giving me an answer to what's the best way to go it's because it feels to be something that is what it is and you don't have a lot of choice in the matter so thank you for joining me group one I'll see you again on Monday for your full week reading Welcome back group two. If you've selected the Caribbean calcite, the aqua or this deck, then this reading is for you. Okay, so what I'm getting going on for you, I'm going to give you that, this is a mini reading. So I'm going to give you the outlay of the general energies of this spread and then I'll see if there's anything else coming through. So what I'm, what I'm finding for you is that you're raising up from a situation, or you're rising up from a situation. That could mean a promotion, that could mean more more money coming in, it could be more leveling leveling up to the next level. So um, taking things to the next level is, is what, it, what it's going. But it's also here, right next to that is the card of walk away. So it's I see you walking away from a situation and perhaps you have to walk away from a situ situation in order to be seen or to um, be given this new opportunity that's coming up around you. I'm getting here a shift of focus. Here, this is a shift of focus. So I feel like it's like you're your attentions turns elsewhere either to somebody else or to something else it's like you're 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 walking away from something that you once did once had in your life or a, a situation that from the past or the, the present um, that you've always had it's like you're walking away from that because your attention is now focused on something else we've got the focus here I've also got the death card from the tarot and death card indicates a change coming up for you as ending of a situation ending of a cycle ending of something in your life in order for you to take the next steps to move forward now here we've got the card of time to fly Time to fly is saying that everything's going to be well, everything's going to work out, but now it's the time for you to take that big leap. 
So it's like a big, it's time to trust in the universe, trust in your own intuition, take that big leap and um, to move forward. So I do feel like there's a definitely endings coming up around you because we've got the walk away from something or somebody. And again, the ending of a situation. But what it is saying is that it's because your focus has changed. It's not because they're ending because it of the other people or the other situation is coming to an end it's ending because you're changing your focus you're changing your perspective you're changing where your interests lie so it's like your energy and interest is going into some different area or some other person and therefore you're the one that's making these things end or come to an end of a situation you're the one that's walking away from it because you're now looking in a different direction yes and, and you're rising up you're looking at a ways to better yourself better your situation, better your purpose, get more out of life. So that's the general energies that I'm bringing for you, for you group two. Let me just see if there's anything else that wants to come through for you group two. Okay. Okay, I'm very drawn to the, the owl here with the owl's eyes. Now, um, okay, when I see owls in my deck, sometimes that indicates somebody on the other side. Okay, so we are bringing through somebody from the other side here. Um, and, and, and what I'm getting from that is that it's because somebody, I, I see them recently passed over because we've got the death card here now. They're now, now this is not for everybody and this is a mini read, so I'm not, I'm not going to dwell on this too much. But what I'm getting, I've got somebody coming through that is, um, has left very recently and it's like they've crossed over. They've, they've gone over to the other side and this is where it's a walk away card. It's also walking into like paradise or walking into heaven's gates um, walking into like the other side they're walking away into a different dimension it's like whatever however you view death it's like that's what I'm seeing for this person it's like they've crossed over and, and they're okay with it is what I'm getting they're okay with it they're for them they're, they're seeing it as it's paradise or it's um and I'm hearing that song Paradise. So it's um, that's why I'm saying the word Paradise because it's the word that I'm, I'm hearing is that song. I think it's Coldplay song. Um, yeah, I, I can't get any more words on that one. But I'm, I'm seeing like the, the gates here, the gates here. And they're happy. They're, they're okay with it. It's like they're, they're okay with it. They've, they've consciously decided whether, you know, throughout life or they've, they're, they're okay with the decision that they've, it's time for them. It's their time being the time card right here as well um, it's their time and they're okay with it so and that's the death card as well so uh, they're definitely not for everybody <laughs> and then and saying that we've got the rising up so it's like the next the, ne the next level being the next dimension you know like the next the next level then where where we go through our stages of ascension or our stages of life um yeah they're going into the next level so i feel like yeah and it's like a, and here it's a shift of focus so it's like the side the sideways approach it's like and 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 that's making me think like your shift of focus so it's like our visual perspective where we only see the living um for those of us that are clairvoyant and can see spirit, we don't um, we don't see them all the time. But it's also it's like that perspective change. So it's like they've they've changed into a different perspective is what I'm getting. So and and by that I mean this is our visual range here for normal humans for humans. And then um, some people can see a little bit more being clairvoyant. That's what I'm getting. It's just a slight shift of perspective. It's like they haven't gone anywhere. It's just a slight a slight shift of focus here to be able to see them passed over so I definitely see somebody um, in spirit and that's what they're telling me they're telling me that they haven't gone it's just a slight shift of focus so they're there but they're um, yeah they're just not in our normal range of view that's all okay so yeah that was pretty um, deep for a mini so thank you for joining me group two I will be back again and and I've got to stress that that um, passing over wasn't for everybody you'll know if it's for you because it'll be somebody that's recently passed over. So yeah, don't don't freak out that people around you are going to pass over. This person's already passed over and they've already made that decision. So yeah, I feel like that decision's already been made. Um, so yeah, so to everybody else, just take what I said in the first general read, which I can't remember what that was now, but yeah, whatever I read for you first, that was for you. So thank you for joining me. I'll see you again on Monday for your full reading. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me, Group 3. If you've selected the pink or the rose quartz, then this reading is for you. And you are reading from the Astro Oracle, which is my brand new deck. So this is the one that I'm working with for a few weeks and, and then it will be available for purchase. I just want to make sure that um, it reads well and it's easy to read from and that the information is accurate on the cards.
Okay, so what I'm picking up for you, this is a mini read. So I'm going to go through the general energy of the spread and then I'll see if I can pull anything else through for you. Okay, your full readings will be on Monday. Okay, so I'm picking up um, 11 house here for you, which is your house of aspirations. It's also about your friends and your group activities as well, community as well in there. Um, I'm getting here the sun being the life force your energy levels, your motivation, how people perceive you is what I'm getting here. You've also got the 12th house going on here for you. Um, and 12th house is about your dream states um, and your hidden realms. So things that you're not aware of and your higher state. So it could also be things like meditation for you as well. Okay, so I'm getting here, you've got the Capricorn and the Aries energy and both cardinal signs. Uh, we've got a, we've got an earth and a fire here as well. So now it's saying it's saying be practical and independent is the energy here for you. So what I'm feeling for you is that this is being the eleventh house of aspirations and goals and achievements. It's saying well it's your goals and your aspirations, but it's also your community and the people around you. So for one thing, it's saying um, it's it's asking you to have a look at how you are with people around you, so how they see you. Do they see you as a positive person um, for one thing? But I'm, what I'm also being drawn here too is that your your how much energy you actually have and your motivation to achieve your goals. So it's like you've got these aspirations and goals, but how much motivation do you actually have? And I'm feeling like for you... Um, I feel you're a very practical person and you need to bring these goals down to a practical level. It's like it's something you want to do these aspirations or goals but it's like you're feeling like you're not getting anywhere with it it feels like it's out of reach it's because it's like you haven't set the proper steps in in motion it's like you need to really break things back to a really basic and practical level you really need really practical steps in order to achieve these goals so yeah so I feel like yeah it's it's, it's not just a matter of um, writing it down and saying I want this, whether it be a new house or um, I want this business or, or whatever it is that your aspirations are. Um, you want new love. I'm not actually seeing what it, here it is, what the aspirations, because they're different for everybody. But what I'm seeing is that it's not as not just as easy as writing it down and, yeah, you're going to achieve those goals. It's I'm getting here a sense of you need to be more practical because – it's like it can be a little overwhelming or it's like a sense of failure or not being able to reach this pie in the sky idea because it's like you've got no stairs to get to it. So what I'm seeing is that you need to um, put really practical ideas in place. So you may not, it may not be that big jump straight up to the goal. It may be that you might have to do a few other things first. Really practical things is what it's saying. And if you can get this into a really practical level, then you've got a much better um, much better op opportunity of success around you in this. But I feel like, yeah, you're very, um, again, independent. And because we're pulling in that Aries energy, the Aries energy is quite a energetic energy. So again, Next to the sun, which is also very vibrant and positive and full of energy, is like um, lots of vi vitality there and lots of um, energetic energy around you. So I feel like, yeah, you could you you could have this big boost of motivation or vitality or um, energetic energy to achieve your goals, but you need to have a very practical foundation for them. It's like it's saying, yeah, it's, it's like you, you have this flush of energy or flush of motivation to achieve but how are you going to achieve it when you don't have the fundamental steps in place and that's what it, that's the message that I'm getting for you group three is that you need to bring it down to a um, not such a dreamy thing where we've got the dreaming card and your hidden realms and and you know you're manifesting and you write your goals down and uh, in the hidden and let the universe work for you Yes, that's okay for some people, but I'm not getting that for you. What I'm getting for you is that you, it's not just about leaving it in the hands of the universe. It's about you actually making the practical steps to get there. So yes, tell the universe what you want. Put it in the hands of the hidden realms and, and the universe. But it's saying that you need to break it down into very practical steps and then take this energy and this vitality and walk those steps knock those things off your list, walk this path,
to get to your goal. It's like your goal's here, here's your first step here. It's saying use this vitality and this energy to start walking these stairs to get to your goal. It's not just about saying to the universe, this is what I want, can I have this please, or how, whatever you're doing, it's, um, it's, there's more to it. It's, it's yes, tell the universe, trust in the universe, tell the universe what your goals are. I would say don't tell everybody else what your goals are because that lessens their power. But it, it does say take practical steps to get there. So thank you, Group 3. Thank you for joining me. I'll be back on Monday with your full reading. Hope that resonates with you.